Hi, welcome back to the studio of Art by Wendy. Today, I'm pretty excited because I have something to show you that I just finished. It's my anytime sketchbook and I call it Flower Power. This is a book that I just take anywhere, but I did have certain rules for this book and um, somehow that bogged me down too, but at the same time, it turned out great. I want to show it to you and talk to you about it. So this is my anytime sketchbook. Now, first of all, and it's called Flower Power, as I told you. Um, so what I did in this sketchbook is I was drawing flowers and I was looking for different kinds of flowers. I wanted to do line drawings. I wanted to uh, in, include some kind of patterning and played with borders to see what kinds of things I could do for borders and just see if I could come up with a lot of different plants that I could draw and have an idea of what was good and what wasn't. So this proved to be a little bit of a challenge too because I got it in my mind that I would every flower had to be different, uh, which was a great thing. I learned lots about different flowers. I learned some nice quick graphic ways of drawing them. I uh, played with some border ideas and bordering them. I played with, I like this, I discovered that that's something I like is when things come out of the border. And just how simple, look at how simple that little border is here and it makes that flower pop. So these were some of the things that I, I found out when I did it. It was actually a really great uh, activity for me and um, really enjoyed it. I often went for a walk. See here, I came home one day with some buttercups and they made it onto a page. This lily was another one that I drew um, uh, from life. Uh, th these butter, these fuchsias, I sat in my sister's garden and uh, drew these fuchsias. So all of these pictures have memories. These little pieces all came from a walk that I did. And look at this, isn't this neat? You find lots of neat little ways of doing patterns and leaves. I discovered that leaves didn't all look the same. And I realized too that I didn't know anything about flowers in terms of petals and the size and the shape and how many, um, just things like adding little pieces like this, what it can do to an arrangement of flowers. It, um, look at this neat, look at little bits of weeds, how they can really enhance a little arrangement and really create that negative shape there that makes it interesting. I played around with um, doing different kinds of backgrounds and things. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Um, just trying different things um, in a variety of different ways, more realistic, sometimes not. Uh, these leaves were something as well, just trying different leaves to see what would happen. Look at these dandelions, how neat that looks. So I just found that it was really a great activity. It took me quite a bit of time, I must admit, because of my restrictions. It had to be a line drawing. It had to be um, a different flower each time, something different. Um, and so for a while there, I wasn't sure I was going to finish it. But uh, this one here was one of the last ones I did. And uh, it was kind of neat how it turned out. So I really, uh, even my little border on the back, really fun activity. I really enjoyed doing it. I learned so much. So now I have a new everyday sketchbook that I'm working on. So I hope you give everyday sketchbooks a try. Have your own little theme or not have a theme. Just go with it. Lots of fun. Wendy teaches outdoor sketching classes in the summer, and she teaches in her studio and online throughout the year. Wendy produces original work in pencil and in watercolor. She completes commission work, particularly pet portraits, and produces cards and prints from some of her work.